Hello everyone, welcome again from USA Canada Visa Help and the, in the last episode we discussed on green card processes and procedures. So it is now our time to understand the eligibility categories because if you are found eligible then you can go ahead and process your green card otherwise you cannot so you must know whether you qualify for or not so this is the link where we will go and start discussing so let's go here green card eligibility categories okay now to apply for a green card, you must be eligible under one of the categories listed below. Once you find the category that may fit your situation, click on the link provided to get information on eligibility requirements, how to apply and whether your family members can also apply with you. So you understand that you have to pick a category that is best fit for you and your situation. Okay. So mostly people fall under three categories one is green card through family green card through employment this is a vast category and this one green card through refugee or asylee status so all other categories are also categories but we are not going to discuss everything because these three are major major categories and almost all the people fits within this three green card through family employment or through refugee or asylum status so three most common categories we will discuss so first let us start with green card through family okay so bear with me and first i want to let you know that you may be wondering that uh, green card processing or these types of immigration related ma matters cannot be done by yourself you need help you need to go to an attorney or you need to go to a, a wise person or you may complete your phd in rocket science and then come back and start applying right that is what you are wondering about right but this is not right that is not true many people including me have handled their immigration issues just within the twinkles of eye or just without too much effort they did minimal effort and they solved their immigration uh, issues themselves it is nothing it is la it is not a rocket science it is at best a boat science so it is as simple as water so just be a little bit of confident and be eager to do a little study so that you can handle your immigration matter yourself it is not a big deal okay so let's start with green card through family okay so let us see whether you fit or not within the category of green card to family whether you deserve your green card to your family members okay so how you can be found eligible so the first one is immediate relative of your citizen so this uh, this is one of the categories if you are an Im uh, immediate relative of a u.s citizen that is a spouse of a u.s citizen or unmarried child under the age of 21 of a US citizen or parent of a US citizen who is at least 21 years old so three things immediate relative of a US citizen has three things one is if you are a spouse of a US citizen you are qualified okay you can apply for green card if you are unmarried child under the age of 21 of a u.s citizen so if you are unmarried child of a u.s citizen with the age of below 21 years so that is how you qualify for become a green card holder and another is if you're a parent of a u.s citizen who is at least 21 years old okay so if you are a parent of a u.s citizen who has become 21 or older okay so these are the three things of immediate relative of a u.s citizen you qualify for green card if you fall under any of these three situations okay so then other relative of a u.s citizen or relative of a lawful permanent resident and under the family based preference categories okay so 
that is not all of the category so this is another way you can qualify for the green card other relative okay other relative of a u.s citizen or relative of a lawful permanent resident not only relative of a u.s citizen but also if you are relative of a lawful permanent resident or green card holder that is another way to qualify for green card so how that is possible okay family member of a u.s citizen meaning that you are an unmarried son or daughter of a u.s citizen and you were 21 years old or older okay so if you are unmarried son or daughter of a u.s citizen and you are 21 years old or older than that then you can fall under this category married son or daughter of a u.s citizen if you are even married son or a daughter of a u.s citizen you can fall under this category so again you, you will be found qualified or eligible okay brother or sister of a u.s citizen who is at least 21 years old if you are a brother or sister of a u.s citizen who is at least 21 years old that is another category you qualify for becoming a green card holder okay and another way family member of sorry for the interruption and family member of a lawful permanent resident meaning you are the spouse of a permanent resident spouse of a permanent resident okay unmarried child under the age of 21 of a lawful permanent resident if you are unmarried child under 21 years of a lawful permanent resident and unmarried son or daughter of a lawful permanent resident 21 years or older that is also a qualifying category so these are the options you have if you qualify within this uh, if you fit within these three also you become family member of a lawful permanent resident meaning uh, and uh, lawful permanent resident and you become eligible okay so that is another eligibility category okay fiance of a u.s citizen or the fiance's child so person admitted to u.s as a fiance of a u.s citizen okay so this is another category and person admitted to the u.s as the child of a fiance of a u.s citizen okay so these are also the qualifying categories and then widow of a u.s citizen widow of or widower of a u.s citizen and you were married to your u.s citizen spouse at the time your spouse died okay so if you fall under this category you also become eligible okay all right and va wa self petitioner victim of battery or extreme cruelty abused spouse of a u.s citizen or lawful permanent resident is still become eligible if you are abused spouse of a u.s citizen or a lawful permanent resident abused child or unmarried uh, abused child unmarried and under 21 years old of a u.s citizen or lawful permanent resident abused parent of a u.s citizen if you fall under any of these still you become eligible to apply for a green card so lawful permanent resident simply means green card holder okay so do not become too much uh, uh, scared to see this term lawful permanent resident means green card holder who can stay and work in usa forever so these are the ways or avenues of becoming a green card holder of a or a permanent resident or a Mm, yeah uh, uh, of uh, usa through family based petition okay so these are the categories you can gain green card through family okay so i hope you have understood everything this is not a rocket science as you uh, as i mentioned and you understand it now pretty clearly that i told the truth okay so thank you for watching 
uh, look for the next video so that you can gain more information and insights okay thank you so